What's up everyone? So today we're going to be breaking down the S Dodge and the benefits of the S Dodge. And so as we let this play here, uh, the S Dodge is something that I think is really intriguing uh, as a concept and something that I think dodging wise can be utilized more and more uh, to, to do a couple things. Uh, the S Dodge, you know, comes from simply, you know, just the shape that the Dodge makes, uh, you know, lining up with the letter S. Uh, you're seeing a couple examples here from Chad Tutton and Antonio DeMarco in terms of, you know, getting around their defender off their Dodge and then cutting them back off and getting back in front. And that's really one of the biggest benefits of the S Dodge. So as we get back here, uh, you know, to the beginning, you know, let's just draw it out quick in terms of what the, the S Dodge looks like. So you're kind of taking this angle around, you're cutting your defender off and then you're theoretically attacking the goal. And that's kind of the idea of the S. So sometimes just understanding what that term means and where it comes from just helps players uh, and coaches visualize that. Uh, Tutton was a guy I played against for three years at uh, North Carolina, and he was fantastic at getting a strong hand. And so for him, the S dodge I think is great because it allows him to get to the middle of the field cut his defender off and put him on his back and get back to his strong hand. So this is something that I know he was really effective in utilizing throughout his career. And you can really see, look how he puts that D midi on his back. And there, you're also kind of holding him hostage. You're, you're holding that uh, you know, defender in that spot where if they really drive into your back, you're going to draw the flag. He cuts him off, gets in front, and now he's got to stick back to his middle. He's getting to the middle, and then he's able to get off a strong-handed shot and finish five-hole. These next few examples, uh, we'll see DeMarco for UNC. Now he's dodging from the low corners. He's going to get around, and then he's going to cut him off and then turn that corner and then finish in front. And again, he has great speed. So I think this is something that can really benefit two types of Dodgers. It can benefit big physical Dodgers like a Chad Tutton. It can also benefit really good speed Dodgers like DeMarco here, like a Kyle Long, who's also fantastic at it and we'll see later on in the clip. Um, but there's a lot of guys that can really benefit from this and girls as well. And we're gonna show you a great example uh, later on. Here's another example of you know DeMarco putting that uh, you know, short stick on his back, turns the corner, goes for the trail check, can't get it, and then really nice job of finishing in front, not afraid to take that contact at the top of the crease. And then one more example from him here, again, good jab step, gets under, and then even if you can't complete the full S and get all the way around, you're still better for it. And we can see that right here. He can't get all the way around and clear him upfield, but he just gets just enough to be able to get a stick back to his right hand and then finish that shot, beat the goalie five hole. Uh, and this next example, this is from Joey Spelina's freshman year. He did a great job here of getting underneath. Again, puts that defender on his back, holds him captive a little bit. So now 44 has got a decision to make. Do I just jam him in the back and absorb that push call and get the flag, you know, or you know, do they try to make do? And then this is where I think Spleen does a great job of being patient. He slows down. He feels that guy on his back. He reaches around the slide guy and then finishes that shot high and away. We'll see another good angle from it right here. You can see he slows down. He tucks. He has that tight cradle to his chest. And then again, steps back in front at the right time to shoot around that sliding defender as a screen to finish. Uh, really nice example here from Spleen of using the S dodge from the low wing and getting underneath. Last example here, more of a long dodge S dodge. This is Garrett Ledman attacking downhill. And again, we'll see him first goal of the championship game. Now he's attacking. And again, this is also, I think, again, very similar to, you know, redodge, hesitation, get under. But again, he gets his stick back to the middle of the field. He's able to get back underneath and cut that guy off. He gets through the head of the stick on the long pole, and he's able to finish at home, you know, off this long dodge. And you can see, again, he's putting that defender on his back. He's running through the head of the stick, gets his stick back to the middle. So the S dodge really accomplishes a lot of things. Um, that are really important, you know, as a Dodger. And depending on your offensive philosophy, this next one is a fantastic example of Ali Kennedy in Athletes Unlimited. Um, you know, again, you know, I was fortunate 
um, or unfortunate, depending how you look at it. Um, you know, it was great to, to compete and coach against Allie uh, when she had an amazing career for Stony Brook, one of the most explosive, uh, you know, Dodgers I've seen and athletes I've seen. Great split dodge. And then you can see here as she attacks, she splits. The slide starts to come, and then this is another benefit of that S dodge because she's able to clear her defender and put her on her back. She's now able to avoid the slide, and you can see she's able to actually twist her this shot um, around the goalie, but she's avoiding that slide by using the S dodge and putting that defender on her back. So, you know, Kennedy with her speed and her dominant right hand is so effective at using the S dodge, and you can really see the benefits of this. Uh, for men's and women's players. So when you're thinking about teaching dodging, you know, a lot of focus sometimes goes into the footwork and the jab steps and, and things like that. But a lot of times it's just the concepts of dodging and what you're trying to achieve. And you can, you know, again, all shapes, sizes, types of dodgers can be effective using a move like the S-dodge and figuring out how to weave that into your game. So hope you found this breakdown helpful. Make sure you check out our weekly thought. We'll have a little more write-up on it. Uh, and really appreciate you watching. Let us know in the comments anything else you'd want to see. Uh, stay tuned for more breakdowns like this in the coming weeks.